Hi there, I'm Nox, and with PUBG going free to play I decided to help new players out and hopefully thanks to those tutorials you're gonna be able to enjoy the game more and have the better first experience of it. This first video is gonna focus on performance because I think everyone hates to lag and unfortunately the optimization in this game is not the best. First thing you wanna do is right click on PUBG, go to manage, browse local files, go to TSI game, binaries, Windows 64 and TSI game.exe you wanna right click on that and click properties. You wanna click on incompatibility and make sure that your full screen set optimization settings aren't turned off. Next on click on changing DPI settings, check the bottom marker and make sure it's set to application. Then you just click OK and apply. Next thing you want to go to your display settings, you're going to browse for the same exit we just changed. Go to settings and just switch it to high performance. Additionally, you can turn on Windows game mode. The next thing you want to do is go to your Steam, right click on PUBG and go to properties and put those launch options in there. And the settings you should personalize out of those are the max memory and refresh. Refresh is based on your monitor, so if you have a 60Hz monitor just put a 60 there and max memory is dependent on your uh, gigabytes of RAM. I have 16, therefore I typed in 13. Don't use max memory of RAM because that could possibly crash your game. Additionally, if you want to play stretch resolution, which will improve your FPS, but personally I'm not a fan of that, you can put in this setting also. If you just want to copy and paste, all those settings are put in the description. First thing you want to do when you start up the game is go click on your top right corner on the gear and then click on settings and you want to scroll down till advanced settings. First thing you're going to see is render resolution. You don't want to touch that, leave it at 100, that's about it. Next on, FOV. The higher FOV you can see more on the sides, but you have less FPS. The lesser FOV you see closer, less on the sides though, and you have more FPS because you have less pixels on the screen. Next on anti-analyzing. I would recommend having it on high because it basically allows you to see better and everything is just smoother. It smooths your edges and on very low it's really hard to see between the fences because they're just flickering. You really don't want that. Post-processing allows you to see edges better of the buildings for example. Uh, therefore if you keep it on like low you can already spot the difference. On very low you can have more FPS. Going above low in my opinion is pointless. Next on we have shadows. Shadows will greatly affect your performance in this game. I should keep them on very low. Uh, they, the higher go of shadows the darker they are, the more structured they are, the more sharp are those shadows. But even on very low you're still gonna see the shadows of the other players so you're not gonna be at disadvantage. Therefore you should probably keep them on very low. Next one we have textures. Uh, textures don't really affect that much of your performance if you have enough VRAM of course. So if your graphic card has like 8 gigs of VRAM or at least 6 even, I think you can go with ultra and high no problem. But if you're struggling you can set it up lower but it doesn't change your performance that much. Next time we have effects, you want to keep them on very low, there isn't much difference between very low and ultra and they're really performance heavy. Even if you have the best of the best graphics card, you're going to be struggling when there is a lot of smokes in the game, when there is molotovs flying around, your PC is going to struggle, therefore just keep it on very low so you can have the best experience you possibly can have. Next one, you have foliage, you want to keep it on very low because it affects how far the foliage renders for you. So if you have it on very low, you're going to be able to see players that are even behind the trees on really fine ranges and you can just spot more people and have better performance. Next one, we have view distance. View distance doesn't affect the render distance of a player, but it affects the render distance of buildings and objects. What does it mean? That if you have a really long range fight, you won't be able to see a building properly with very low settings because it won't load. Therefore, you cannot see someone in a window of that building and you might lose a fight. Therefore, I would just keep it at least at medium, even for those couple FPS. Depending on the map, you can switch it between the maps. Miramar, definitely, you want to have done ultra, even if it costs you a couple of FPS. Next time we have Sharpen. Sharpen is more of a personal preference thing. I would recommend having it on because it allows you to just see the players and all the objects. Everything on the map just is sharper so you can just see it better. If you don't like it when you turn it on, you can always turn it off and just give it a go. I would recommend giving it a go. Next time we have DirectX version. To use this, you would need to turn off the Steam command that actually uses DirectX 10 instead of DirectX 11. This setting works for some people. The enhanced one or DirectX 12 better than DirectX 11 normally, but it's really dependent because it's just unstable and it's different than every system. After those settings you want to go to gameplay and actually turn off inventory character render because it just renders every, your character every time you go to your inventory and then you just want to scroll all the way down and turn off live stream screens. Live stream screens are basically well live streams in game. They're gonna distract you, they're gonna lag your game or you just really don't want to see those. Just not worth it. That's about all the ways I know how to improve the APS in this game. 
Additionally, all you can do is clear your cache, clear your memory using CCleaner, temporary files, make sure those are gone, and hopefully that also improves your FPS. If you know any more ways that haven't been covered, feel free to leave them in comments, or if you have any questions, ask them in comments. I'll try to answer everything I can. If the video was helpful and you enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe because I'm going to be making more videos and more tutorials that hopefully will cover the issues that you might have with the game and that will better your experience. Thanks for watching.